a little bit. It's been four months now since we've moved into the house, so we thought we'd have a chat with you and share the things that we've done, the things we want to do, progress on the house. You've got to go through it. But our garage update is, can we please, and some Cajun seasoning. We're making chicken um, Cajun pasta. Oh, I love it. Aid, it really smells like Disney. Good morning and welcome back to a new weekend vlog. It is eight o'clock Saturday morning. I thought the door was going then. I think it's the wreath on the door. I need a summer wreath actually. I need to get a shot of the Easter one. Um, we're just heading out for a walk. It's going to be a weekend at home. It's really, really blustery, really, really windy. Storms going on, um, but the rain isn't forecast till this afternoon. So we're gonna get out and walk. And then we're gonna have a bit of a catch up this weekend. I've got lots of work stuff. Aid's gonna do some jobs around the house, but we thought we'd take the opportunity to catch up with you all a little bit. It's been four months now since we've moved into the house. So we thought we'd have a chat with you and share the things that we've done, the things we want to do, progress on the house. <laughs> and as we currently speak, we've got people out sorting out the garage. So we will talk to you about that too. Anyway, we see people walking in a field near us. So we're gonna go and find that field and go for a walk. wondering if this might be a cornfield. There's um, brighter ways where you're allowed to walk through. But yeah, these are all, all, in line. They're all in line when you look up close. Now that the pretty picture's gone, now that I know what's going on, walking home alone. We were watching some geese around this water the other day, weren't we, from our bedroom. Yeah. And now we're actually walking on it. So honey, before the night is through, I'm gonna miss you too. Right, we've got to go through this. What do you reckon is the best way? I'm gonna go and the fence. Go on then, you do How it you first. You're gonna drop it on you. Got to go through it. Right. Oh. Oh. Is it oh, it's a poop. No, I didn't touch it. I almost did. I was going to grab hold. Ah. You through? Yay! <laughs> We had such a nice walk, didn't we? It was very, very muddy. muddy. I put my new jeans on as well. They got absolutely filthy. It was really nice because we were able to like walk in the fields all around by our house and see our house from a different angle that we've ever seen before. It was quite good, wasn't it? Yeah. It was very nice. Um, we are going to make some toasted sandwiches in our air fryer. We made a video the other day last night actually wasn't it using it for the first time so this will be the second time and um we're gonna make cheese toasties aren't we that's what yeah. we're fancying oh and we did 10,000 steps yes cheers happy weekend cheers happy weekend do you want to get more onions i don't know do you want we'll that? Do you have any onion yours yes please we'll see how we go it might be okay cheers and i'm gonna make a nice cajun pasta tonight i'm really looking forward to so that. yesterday in the video i swapped things around and i had the air fryer in the top i just went to take it out and the it took the shelf with it it collapsed slightly and i had some very special champagne glasses down below they were wedding ones that my dad had bought us um from macy's for our wedding um and 
Had I have not had Ada to step in, I don't think I'd have been able to hold that up and they would have probably smashed. So we've now switched it around. Emptied it, this has gone to the top. The air fryer can now sit on the bottom and we don't have to worry about the shelf collapsing. I'm also thinking with pulling that out and that four months in, I think I'm ready to give the place a really good clean again. You know, just kind of like empty the cutlery drawers, for example. I'm noticing now that it's gonna need to be, do need to be done. I might do that in a separate video and just do a really good blitz and organize. Um, some of the drawers are starting to feel a bit messy. I've just literally done that. Um, yeah, so I wanna keep on top of it. So I might do that in a separate video and just do a really good kitchen blitz. I quite like the idea. I've got my dad coming over next month as well for nearly a month. He usually comes for about 10 days. So I would like to get some videos pre-recorded as well so that when he's here, I don't have to worry. Obviously I'm still gonna carry on working, but I could, if I could have some videos scheduled ahead of time, that would be really nice. So that would be a nice one to film and I can schedule that ahead so i might do that one i quite fancy i could find those videos for me personally watching those videos is really cozy um but also to film them i find them quite cozy to film as well so i may well do that um he's just gone out to the garage to get some onions and stuff oh, what's in that box it's for the christmas plates oh for the christmas plates we took out the mickey mouse christmas plates they were in that cupboard yesterday you know i said we had space for the air fryer we had a whole christmas dinner service in there so Aid's grabbed the box. That's gonna now he's boarded the roof in the garage. That's one of our updates actually. I've mentioned it previously. He's completely boarded the roof in the loft. And the guys, I don't think you'll be able to see. But our garage update is the last couple of days they've put some sealant. Is it sealant? On the wall of the garage. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's, it's basically like a uh, yeah, sealant, um, so basically it's brushed on, need a couple of coats, they put the second coat on today, it means that that's for above ground, so the above ground has now been sorted, the front side and back has all been done, so that means that water should not come through above ground, they've still got to do the groundworks underground, um, they're due to do that, um, but at least that's done now as well, so that's good. Do you want to share what they're doing on the base then? On the floor. Yeah, under what the, what they're going to do, we've actually got a storm drain that runs along the side of the garage. Um, so they're actually going to dig a trench all the way along, um, and they're going to backfill it with like the Cotswold stone or like the you know the the beigey kind of stone. Same look around the rest of the house. They're going to do that all along the side and then the back, a bit like a French drain. But they're also going to tap it into the storm drain, oh, okay. so that that will actually mean the water does go somewhere. Because of course it's great making mm. the uh, and also they're going to tank the outside of the, the garage so basically they're going to dig all the way down as far as they can go right to the foundations all the way down and they're going to tank the wall so basically that makes it waterproof but then that doesn't stop the water so of course it'll make it waterproof but it'll still mean the garden will be really wet yeah so by doing the the, the stones um, and tap into the storm drain will mean that water will drain away. So yeah, although we've had to wait for it, to be honest, they've kept us in the loop. They've been really good. It has been a pain, um, but we've had trust in them. And I think, oh, I think that's the important thing, isn't it? Um, their customer service has been really good. We can't complain. Um, oh, I'm gonna make these toasties. Do we talk anything about the windows, by the way? No, I'll let you take over while I finish. Yeah, here, um, also in regards to the windows, um, we had noticed it was a really sunny day. Have you mentioned anything at all about the windows? I think so. Well, we've got the French doors that needed changing because they um, noticed even before we moved in that they had actually be they were scratched on the inside, so they were ordered. Uh, we were due to get them changed, um, and the people that come to change them, they actually the supplier actually called us and said, unfortunately, one door is damaged. So I said, well, okay, well, let's hold off. Pointless doing that. But I noticed the day before a couple of our windows had got scratches. I think it was a brilliant sunny day so do you know when you can just see things um we know it hasn't been us because we haven't actually cleaned the windows have we no well we knew they were being replaced well, well no no only the french doors oh, i mean okay. the other windows oh, I see what you mean, yeah. and so i contacted the the builder straight away and sort of said about it um and uh yeah they they ordered them they said yeah no no problem but i also said i'm gonna go around and check the rest of the house and i think all in all we found was it about 11, 12, 13 windows? 
Oh, when I say windows, obviously the windows might be divided into two or three, so uh, each section. So, um, yeah, and they actually came around to check and they agreed with us, yeah, they were all scratched. Um, there's actually a standards, uh, this is going to sound really dull, but what qualifies as a scratch? You have to, I think it's the National Building or the whatever they call Sorry. it, um, standards. You have to stand at least two meters away, uh, look at it, and then be able to see the scratch or something like that. So, and we could definitely see them all. So, we've got those being done as well. So, they'll be on their way at some point. And so, yeah, we cannot fault the way this has been dealt with. I think that's the reason why I'm saying there are all these things that haven't been. No one's fault as such, and I think what happens, they said when cleaners come in, the windows have all got plastic coating on them, and actual fact, one of the window guys actually did pop by, didn't he? He was actually nearby. Yeah. And he actually said quite often the cleaners will take the, the things off the windows after they've been installed, and then they'll scrape because they realise that there's still something stuck to them. And then, of course, that then scratches the windows. And they said the same about the hob and that as well, that yeah. quite often they're cleaning. It's, you know, it's a sandy, gritty house, and they'll just clean across the hob, and they end up scratching things. Um, right, toasted sandwiches are in. By the way, I need to do this. Um, I'm not doing an ad gifted video, but just for full transparency, this was actually um, gifted to us. Um, so I will leave the link to the air fryer down below. But yeah, um, we just used it, unboxed it for the first time yesterday. So I want to try mine on greaseproof paper purely because I know it makes washing up easier. Aid reckons the toasty will be better without it. So we're gonna try both and see. Mine will be one without them. Yeah, yours is without, so I wanted the paper. So that means, Aid, you can do the washing up. <laughs> That's fine, I did last night. And I think we've only had one mishap, proper mishap in the house so far, haven't we? And that was me. Cleaning the oven and I lifted this up and I caught it on the corner. I think we'd only been in a couple of weeks, haven't we? And that's kind of like screwed that up a little bit, I'm gutted. I just hope it doesn't end up peeling or something. Let's have a look. We read on there to put cocktail sticks in to hold it together. It's really toasted nicely, actually. Yeah. Well, turn like it? I love toasties like this. Do you? Yeah. I like messy toasties. Maybe putting paper in on the top shelf bit wasn't a great idea. Sandwiches look good though. How melty are they? Well, they're not overly melty. It's toasted nicely. I'm thinking they should have been done longer. We've done them on 190 for seven minutes. And we're going to play downfall. I completely forgot we're playing downfall and we ordered a snack first box. We did it as a collaboration last month and loved it so much that we signed up ourselves. So it's not ad gifted, it's we actually bought it. We were going to do a reveal thing on this channel but then last night it arrived and we we're really excited and couldn't wait we've got spain this month we've got some really fun fun things fried egg chris <laughs> that's just weird um do you fancy what do you fancy trying whilst we play down for do you want some sweets got some nice looking sweets oh, it often warm in a way very slightly savory let's see if we move ketchup flavor little biscuity things or jamon which is the pan. We've got little cheesy footballs. You can have those. If you like a cheese ball. Um, what about these? I don't know what these are. Little Mimi's. Hmm. Nice one. Oh, we've got a drink. We haven't had last month's drink yet. We've got a no. little fizzy lemon. That can go in the fridge. Some nice things here. I don't know what that is. That looks... It feels like, you know, one of those candy rolls. Oh, okay. Aged chocolate blanco. And we've got some lemon biscuits. So you'll like those. Yeah, some sweets in there, don't they? Yeah, I like the look of the sweets. Oh, look. Are these nuts. I didn't see these last night. A lot of plants, this is like hmm, Possibly, yeah. The nice things I like are the little sweetie bits as well. I like that you get all the little bits of candy in the bottom. What fancy you trying? I'll let you choose. Okay. I am. I don't fancy the fried egg. Let's go with these ones. Let's try these. Yeah. It was, there was a discount code as well. We got 20% off, didn't we? Yeah, give it a try. Oh, they're nice. They're like tiny little ones. Hmm, oh, quite nice actually. I think 20 pounds for all that. Hmm. 
Such a good price. Mm. I quite like actually. We do like a snack, don't mm. we? And we've done our 10,000 steps already. So we're allowed a snack. Can we go back out again? Mm. Do some more. Do another 10,000. <laughs> We both ended up having a bit of a worky afternoon. Um, I've been upstairs in my craft space and Aid has been working in the office. You've done really well, haven't you? I've also been doing Lego. No, you've only just well, started doing your Lego. Um, he's done really well clearing out some cupboards and that. It actually sounds echoey in that room now. And yeah, he's doing Lego now. You don't do enough sitting down, playing. What are, you pl what are you playing with? I'm building my, the haunted mansion. Oh, I've just seen that. Oh, this is the one that Holly bought you. It was, yeah. Thought I'd get myself into it. And if you look around where well, you probably can't was see it. Was this last birthday or the birthday yeah, before? Yeah, last birthday, I think. Last birthday. Um, but I've also then, to continue after yeah. this, I've got, you'll see the instructions on there Ooh. for the next one that yeah. I'm partway through. Holly is one of the best gift buyers, isn't she? She is, yeah. She always <laughs> really thinks about something that would really suit. She never just buys a gift for the sake of it. If, yeah. she, if she doesn't buy, she makes. That's really cool that you're doing that. And I noticed that you were watching Harry Potter. It's just finished, so yeah, yeah. the Philosopher's Stone. It's just on, so I've just left it on. Aww, so. that's really cool. And I'm going to start making dinner. Do you know, that was one of the things, wasn't it? That <laughs> before we moved, it's just clicked that this is just happening now. Every now and then, uh, something happens that I was really, really excited about before we moved. One of the things I was excited about was the thought of cooking in a beautiful kitchen whilst Aid sits there at the table. I just always visualise that and four months on and it's actually happening again. It, it hasn't happened many times where I've just been cooking and you've just been doing something there. No. This just makes me so happy. So I'm gonna cook a really cozy, quick and easy pasta dish. Oh, and um, he's just ordered something really exciting for the kitchen as well, which is, is it due tomorrow? Yeah, and also the garage. Okay. I'm excited about that. Um, I was going to share something else with you then as well. What was I going to share? Oh, we've decided as well, we've made a decision on the fridge, haven't we? We're going to order the shelves and get that done. Shelf, shelf, shelf yeah. and just make do with it. Um, we're kind of getting to know it a little bit now. We know not to put things like courgettes, cucumbers in the salad tray. They have to go up higher because it's um, warmer up there so we're just kind of getting rather than just keep moaning about it we, we've got it we can't afford it at the moment and we don't want to just get builders in and just cut it all out and put the our American fridge freezer in that's going to take time so rather than keep moaning about it we've just got to deal with it um, so yeah we just make the most of a bit of an annoying situation at the end of the world day it's not the end of the world is it no, the temperatures do seem to be less Drastic. Do they? It's still cold down the bottom. Okay. Nobody but, likes a cold bottom. No, but then it doesn't seem to be. It seems to be almost settling down yeah. temperature-wise. Okay. So it just, yeah, we'll see. Oh, it's right. getting better. You've got these out for dinner. Yeah. Let's get the ingredients out. That's my effort for dinner. Thank you. <laughs> so I've got some chicken thigh here. I've got peppers, onion, garlic, spring, out, spring onions. I've got some hard cheese, a bit like parmesan. I thought it was parmesan, but it tastes the same. Um, some cheddar. Oh, could you grab the cream cheese out for me, please? And some Cajun seasoning. We're making chicken um, Cajun pasta. Or Cajun chicken pasta, maybe. Yeah, some soft cheese there. Oh, and I'm gonna need a little bit of wine as well. Beneath the starlit sky, our love secret line. Like leaves we soar so high Beneath the moonlight Self-touch your hand in mine Gets me every time Add my peppers to that. Oh, we've got a little steamed up. 
then I've just chopped up a load of cheese. I'm going to put that in. Yeah, dinner's ready. I ended up adding mushrooms as well. I had three mushrooms left in the fridge, so I thought I'd add those as well. This looks so, so good. And I've seasoned as well. We haven't had anything like this for a while, actually, have we? Mm, this is so tasty. I love this kind of dinner. Um, do you want... I've done that already. Um, I've got them here. Yeah. Did you want spring onions? Because I know they're not always your favourites. I am, yeah. Okay. Parmesan? I think that might be one of my favourite pasta dishes. The Cajun spice gives it a really nice warmth. Obviously, the more you add, the spicier it will be. Season to taste. It's just so good. I did linguine with ours. Just toss it all through. It's just really, really yummy. Um, oh, batteries. He's recharging batteries. We're going to head out on a little walk. After dinner, it's half past seven already. And then we're going to, I think, snuggle up and watch TV for the evening. What, what are our plans tomorrow? I think we want to get the boxes sorted, don't we, for the Christmas decorations. We started it last week, haven't finished. We want to sort that. And um, there's some other house bits that we're going to share. Oh, i tell you what else we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to put up our first piece of artwork in the house, aren't we? Yeah. We discussed it earlier on, but I was still filming upstairs doing a journaling video. So we're going to do that tomorrow. So we've got some nice things planned yeah. tomorrow. So good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Um, it's actually half past 11. We got up and went for a really long walk. We did. We've done our 10,000 steps already this morning. It was just like a cleaner walk today. There's um, lots of really beautiful old historic buildings around. So we had a walk around, didn't we? Yeah. In the storm and the rain, <laughs> we went out anyway. And um, came back and had dippy eggs. I've got a goulash in the crock pot. We've been talking, do you know, there's been a lot happening since I spoke to you last night. We decided this morning we may well do a trip overseas next month, a bit of a last minute trip, a little mini road trip. So that's been under discussion, checking out prices and hotels today. Um, I'm really loving being a travel agent and just being able to access all these great deals. It's so, so exciting. Um, oh, thank you, by the way, to those of you that contacted wanting to find out more information. Anyone else wanting to find out more information, um, drop me a message, leave me a comment down below and we can chat. Um, yeah, and then we've also decided on ceiling lights. We chose some for the hallway and in here as well. Um, so I'm going to order those today, I think, actually. Oh, you're expecting an exciting delivery today, aren't you? Something we're excited about as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we'll share some more updates with you as well. But anyway, um, my aid's clearing up from breakfast and or brunch, I should say. And I've got to do a couple of hours of work. So I'm going to be here at my desk. And then we're both going to be working together in the lounge. The kitchen smells so nice. I've just taken a quick break from work. I am heating through some red cabbage that I've already made and frozen into batches. The goulash is bubbling away nicely. It just smells so, so good. Proper comfort food today. Goulash and red cabbage. There we go. We're going to have a sofa dinner. We haven't done this for ages. Goulash and red cabbage. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, I'm really excited. Sat at my desk and we've had a delivery. Um, I ordered some room fragrances from Nap and Co from Sean. She's also a Disney vlogger. Um, I'm really, really excited. I did just go straight in and open it. I have been wanting, you know, the Disney H2O scent. You get the, I've actually washed my hair with it today. Um, shampoo, conditioners, you get, you get a bit of everything actually, don't you? Shower gel, I love the body lotions. I've got foot stuff. Um, we've got various bits and pieces from over the years that I've been collected. And I've been really, really wanting that clean, fresh scent in the house. To me, it's almost like a spa scent. A little bit salty. Anyway, Sean, I saw, seen on Sean's Instagram, that she does wax melts. I've opened it and sniffed it already. It is really good. I was dubious. I was thinking, you know, when you've got a really, really favorite scent 
And you're thinking, nah, somebody can't recreate that. She has. It's almost got a slight pepperminty as well. It's just clean. I'm gonna try that in a minute. And I also treated us to a room and sea marine, sea marine peppermint, salty. That's exactly what it is. Uh, room and linen spray. I haven't tried this one yet. 750, I think that was. I think these are four. And I think this was 750 if I remember right. It's glass as well, isn't that nice? I really like that. Let's see what this like. Aid, I'm gonna spray the linen spray. Okay. Oh, I love it. Aid, it really smells like Disney. Does it? I think I Sean doesn't have a shop open all the time as well. I need to gonna gonna need to keep an eye on that. I just love the packaging as well. It's really nice. Aid, it's so nice. I Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, really chuffed at that. I'll leave her details down below. And I'm expecting another delivery. The lights that I ordered from Dun Elm yesterday are already out for delivery. It's Tuesday and I've just had the cutest box delivered. Look, it's like a little house. Isn't that cute? I may have to repurpose the box. Um, our light shades have arrived. Oh, I really like these. They're really cool, don't they? 32 pounds from Dunelms. And I think deliveries over 50 are free. And it's quite stringy. I'm gonna have one in here and one in there. What do you think? Yeah, we'll put up. Oh, you're gonna do it already? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got all my papers on there, haven't you? Yeah, they do. It does actually feel like string. It's stringy. Oh, and another update. Um, Every, I think every video somebody says, I still can hear your tap. Well, you can still hear the tap as well, can't we? we can. Apparently it's a whole new tap. What did they say? It They're was, struggling to get a replacement. Well, no, no, it wasn't that. It was, they wanted to make sure they got, wanted to make sure they got the right Sorry. model. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I was expected. <laughs> wanted to make sure they got the right model, because apparently it was, I'm saying an older one, but it's a different one that's maybe used in, in other places. But apparently someone came back off holiday and said, oh yeah, it's that one. So they've ordered that. That was a lot a couple of weeks ago. So I think when you're on a site, it isn't just a case of someone buying it. They've obviously got to get approval and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure it's it's going to happen, but uh, soon. Hopefully soon. So yeah, that's your tap update. What other updates have we got? Um, you're right. You're not yeah, two sex. Yeah, we didn't want like tiny. That even still, that that looks quite small actually, doesn't it? Well, we'll see, won't we? Actually, won't we? that looks quite small in comparison to the bedroom one doesn't it it's supposed to i think actually our bedroom one was 50 i think that's 40. The that's idea, not a nice size actually yeah the idea is it still lets lots of light through then yeah. as well doesn't it yeah i don't know do you think they look a little i'm just glad we didn't go for the regular size no that for me is quite nice i think you don't want them to have it too too big no yeah do, do you want the office one yeah, because it's considering it's bigger than the ones that are in the lounge. Thank you. I That's think the ones true. on the landing are light. But then I really didn't, like those. Didn't want, I didn't want all the same. Didn't want all the same, but no. the same style. Yeah, I just think with, when you can see both, it, I think it needs to look the same. I'm still not 100%. So before um, we finish our update video, um, Aid's just putting in some new lights. I'm actually in the middle of filming a whole house clean at the moment. We've got friends coming over. And I really wanted to show you these lights. We were wanting some lights underneath the cabinets. Um, we weren't really sure what we wanted and then you found these, didn't you? Yeah. I know it's, no, I know it's nothing probably new or things like that, but they're, they're remote controlled and they're um, warm light, cool light, uh, normal light. You can dim them as well. And they actually also work off the same remote, so you can control through in the same vicinity, you just use the remote Even if you buy extra packs? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, as long as they're in the same lock, if one was over there and one was there, they wouldn't work. Okay. Because they work on remote control. You'd, well, they would. You just need to point it to them. Yeah, like, you sense. used to point to the TV. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, if you put yeah. the TV on in one room, it's not going to set it off in the other room. Unless it's Bluetooth. Would it do then that? It oh, I didn't the know. The Sky that. ones are Bluetooth, so they do that now. <laughs> I didn't so, know that. Yeah, that'd be good. So yeah, you can turn them on and off. You can also have motion sensor ones as well. So we've actually put one in the pantry. Oh, we? is it the same one? Yeah, type? same I didn't one. Really like so it. they can be motion sensor. It's actually really good actually because the motion sensor that will also work at in in the day. So for example, if it's any kind of light, mm -hmm. it will come on. 
or it can be purely if it's night time. Okay. So if you don't want it coming on if there's light, yeah. it won't come on at all. Oh, two sets got doorbell. I've got a piece of furniture for the bathroom. Got a bathroom drawer thing. That's just arrived. Um, yeah. So, sorry, where was I? Yeah, so oh, basically they all work together. So you can see here, talking about the, the um, they will all go off and they'll go on at the same time as well. So, so I wanted it just to feel yeah. like either lit when we're cooking, but also give it a cosy feeling in the evening. Yeah, and it's nice with the motion sensor, like I, that's what I was just saying. Mm. So for example, if you don't want it to come on at any point when there's just normal light, it won't. It'll just come on when it's dark. Okay. You get that with some outside lights as well. Our outside light can come on all the time, mm. even if it's daylight. Yeah, that's um, true. So, but no, I like it. It's uh, and again, how much were they? I can't. I think they were they were eighteen ninety nine for two, mm. but they were on an offer at that. Sorry, the battery went. Then you were saying is it sixteen? Uh, yeah, so they're about sixteen. They're on offer for sixteen for two, so eight pound each. So okay, well, that's not bad. Uh, and also saves wiring things into the cabinets and everything. And they've got like magnets that just go on and then sticky back on the back of it. Now I think if you're putting these onto metal, they would stick. Oh, okay, try Unless they stick it. magnetic. Will it go on the bin? It'll go on, should go on a fridge. Yeah. Yeah, it's stuck on the bin. Yes, yeah, so it does. They do obviously do. You could have them on the bin, so when you walk in, it lights up. Yeah. <laughs> big fan, um, aren't they? Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to put these ones up here now. My only worry with doing them under there oh, is they if they fall. Like, for example, we've got these that we bought in Santa Monica. We moved in 2013 it was a real special trip and i'd be gutted if they got broken i just don't want them to fall so let's turn do you want to turn that light off uh yeah i'll turn this off you're not really going to see them because it's just daytime there you go look. oh yeah so if i want warm light there well, you, you go change it as well and you can also dim them as well so oh, you can go dimmer. that's really cool and that's obviously turn both of them on i'm looking forward to that in the evening and there's also a timer as well so if you want them just mm. for an hour because also if you forget Sorry, if you forget <laughs> to turn them off, you can obviously just put an hour yeah. and you know they're going to go off. So I've just had a thought. So if you do it on a timer, will it do it the same day each day? I don't know. Because I was thinking that. if you're away on holiday, could you set timers? I'll read the instructions, I'm not because sure. Because actually we've got lights. You think of like the hallway lights that we have. Do you remember the ones we bought at the Christmas market? Yeah. And they go off, this, and, and my IKEA ones as well, the IKEA ones we bought, yeah. they go off the same day, and actually that's quite nice having lights on when you're away. Hmm, mm. I quite like those, but um, yeah, I just wanted to share those with you, so we're doing lights under the kitchen cabinets, but it feels like a cheats way, doesn't it? What do you mean? Like putting lights like that, rather than having them installed, because we could have had lights under the cabinets, couldn't we, by the development company. Um, it was really expensive. I, no, I think they were taken off an, off an, as an option. Oh, I think. okay. They used to be included as standard. Yeah. Um, they used to. Um, okay, so they just got rid of this I, I, I can't remember. It could have been there. I'm sure anything, if you wanted something, they'd probably do it. Yeah. Um, but pricey. for me, I mean, we've had the one in the understairs covered the whole week. And that's obviously come on, off, been used. Mm. It hasn't even, we haven't even charged it yet, have we? And this seems fine, so. Yeah. Happy. But anyway, I'm going to finish this video now. I hope you've enjoyed some little updates that we've shared. Uh, the four months, if it, it, you know, it's weird. Four months feels like we've been here forever, but it's also gone really quick. Yeah, it feels almost like we haven't done anything. Yeah, I agree with you. In every every sense. Yeah. But we have done a lot, really. Yeah, I guess so. Some. It's difficult when you're working full time as Yeah, well. that's the thing. But we've also yeah. been joining life as yes, well, which we has been have. so nice. We've been exploring. So you take that into account. I'm so pleased we've mm. done what we have done as well. Yeah, so. our life in that way has changed dramatically, mm. hasn't it? We're definitely getting out and about more. Mm. So but thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little update. And we look forward to sharing our next video with you um, at the weekend. Take care. See you, bye. Bye.